the value of the integral given to us cos cube x plus cos to the power of 5x divided by sin square x plus sin to the power of 4x is equals to we have options here. Now what is given to us in that we have numerator everything in terms of cos denominator in terms of sin and when we look at the options we don't see traces of cos there that means cos needs to be eliminated. And also if you observe we have tan inverse of sin x, tan inverse of sin x, tan inverse of sin x that gives us an idea that sin x needs to be taken as a variable and cos x dx will go as part of the dt. Uh, remaining whatever is left out we need to convert them into sin then we have to simplify this. So from looking at the options whatever given to us we understood two things one cos needs to be changed to sin and the sign needs to be taken as a variable. So let us go ahead and do this. First we will write down what is given to us is integral of can I take cos cube x common? I can write cos cube x into 1 plus cos square x dx divided by sin square x if I take common in the denominator I will have sin square x into 1 plus sin square x. Now we said we want to transform co change cos into sin and we also said we have to take sin x as a variable sin x equals to some t. So what I will do I will leave one cos x like that and I will write cos cube x as cos x into cos square x into 1 plus cos square x dx divided by sin square x into 1 plus sin square x. Now let us go ahead and say that let sin x equals to a variable t. Then differentiating we will get cos x dx equals to dt. That means this and this will go for dt. So what is left out let us write down that will be equals to integral of cos square x which we can write it as 1 minus sin square x and 1 plus cos square x that is 1 plus 1 minus sin square x can I say 2 minus sin square x and cos x dx is dt in the next step we will change sin x also into t. In the denominator we have sin square x into 1 plus sin square x. So we will change everything in terms of t we have 1 minus t square multiply with 2 minus t square divided by t square into 1 plus t square dt. Now what we are going to do we need to simplify this into two parts. So we will write down 1 minus t square whatever is given to us here what we got we write it as 1 minus t square as 1 plus t square minus 2 t square. When I do that I can cancel 1 plus t square one time and I can also cancel t square one time. So that is our idea. So let us go ahead and write down that we can write it as integral of 1 plus t square into 2 minus t square divided by t square into 1 plus t square minus 2 t square we will take 2 outside t square into 2 minus t square divided by t square into 1 plus t square. Hopefully you are clear with that. We have just written into two different parts so that we can simplify it. We have written 1 minus t square as 1 plus t square minus 2 t square such that one time 1 plus t square will cancel another time t square will cancel. That is equals to integral of I can cancel 1 plus t square. So this guy will become now 2 by t square minus t square by t square dt this minus will make it as 
plus before that we will cancel t square t square so we'll keep the 2 as it is this guy will become t square minus 2 divided by 1 plus t square now t square minus 2 t square plus 1 so can we write it as plus 2 t square plus 1 minus 3 always our logic is very simple we want to simplify as much as possible so try to write numerator in terms of denominator so this will be integral of 2 by t square dt minus integral of 1 dt let's go to the next step in the next step we have integral of 2 by t square dt we we'll leave it like that plus 2 t square plus 1 by t square t square plus 1 by t square plus 1 minus 2 3s are 6 integral of 1 by 1 plus t square now this will simplify to integral of 2 by t square dt minus 1 plus 2 which is equals to plus integral of 1 dt because we have this is plus 2 integral dt this is minus 1 integral dt that is plus 1 integral dt minus 6 integral of dt by 1 plus t square we are almost there one more step so now we can write this as this is equals to 2 t to the power of minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus t minus 6 tan inverse t which is equals to t is sin x what we have taken as sin x is t so back substitution will have sin x minus 2 sin x whole to the power of minus 1 because minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 then we have minus 6 tan inverse of t t is equals to sin x plus c so let's look at do we have this option sin x let us see where we are sin x minus 2 sin x to the power of minus 1 minus 6 tan inverse sin x plus c so this is our answer let's have a recap of this problem interesting problem we have been given integral of cos cube x plus cos to the power of 5x divided by sin square x plus sin to the power of 4x we need to find out the integral of this and we have options single correct answer that means one of them is only correct and when we look at all the options one thing is very clear that there is no there is no traces of cos function there that means cos needs to be replaced changed into sin and also we have tan inverse of sin x that tells us that sin x needs to be taken as a variable these are the two hints we got from the option so we started with that we took sin x equals to t then cos x dx will become dt remaining whatever is there in terms of cos we changed them in terms of sin then after that we got 1 minus sin square x into 2 minus sin square x divided by sin square x into 1 plus sin square x we changed that into t we got 1 minus t square into 2 minus t square by t square into 1 plus t square then we manipulated it in such a way that we can cancel one time 1 plus t square one time we can cancel t square now the idea is very simple always try to write numerator as part of denominator can we take a part of denominator and put it there in the numerator by doing a little bit of tweaking if we are able to do that then go ahead and do that because that will simplify the problem that is what we did here 1 minus t square we have written it as 1 plus t square minus 2 t square now after that we simplified them separately one by one and finally we are able to get the answer as sin x minus 2 by sin x or 2 sin x to the power of minus 1 minus 6 tan inverse of sin x plus c.